There are several game types where you may have hundreds or thousands of objects in your scene that will need to be kept updated with players. Such as blocks in a voxel game like Minecraft or Trove, or even an RTS game where there are resources scattered around the map. Networking all of these objects is not ideal as you would take a massive performance hit by doing so. In this example, I have roughly 4,000 trees planted in my scene. These trees are all networked objects. I disabled the renderers on them so that they won't impact my frame rate. You can see that my frames per second is sitting around 380 FPS. I restarted play mode, this time using trees which are not networked objects. Let's see the frame rate once I remove the rendering overhead. With the renderers disabled, you can see that my frame rate is sitting around 1700. That's nearly a 500% increase in frame rate by using offline trees. And when I run this test with only 500 objects, I still see a 50% increase in frames when not using network trees. In the lower right, I have my server and a client already connected just above that. You'll see as I add new trees to my server and modify existing ones, that the connected client will also see their scene update. In addition, if I connect a new client, they will also see the same changes. To access the full version of this tutorial, its source code, as well as dozens of other tutorials and assets, check out the description of this video.